Hello everyone and welcome to another Yachtway Spotlight. Today I am going to take you on a full thorough walkthrough of this 1212 Ghost by Frausche Yachts. Now you may wonder why do I dress like James Bond? Well come along and I'll show you why. We're starting our walk through all the way from the aft uh, by the swim platform here. And this is a very unique boat. So let's start talking about the history of Frausche Yachts. They started actually in 1927 and these boats are built in Austria. And this is a fourth generation uh, that is building these boats, which is absolutely incredible. And if you look at this boat now from the side profile, it does remind you of a sports car and a sports car, more specifically a Porsche. So they're following actually the same exact design philosophy as Porsche has. And this goes starting with the engine note the moment you turn it on. So here is how it sounds when you turn on the engines on the 1212 Ghost. Now, once you've turned off your engines and you're ready to enjoy the day on the water, that's where all the fun begins. You have a nice lounge area over here. You have stairs that are integrated right underneath. So coming back into the boat from the water is super simple. And of course, you have a nice sunbed, two of them with a walkway in a dead center. Now, what's really neat about this sunbed here is if you lift up right underneath, you have a little latch and you just lift up and underneath you have an oversized storage where you can keep your sea bobs, if you wanna keep your water toys, whatever you wanna need, you can keep them stored away over here, really nice. Now. When we close this thing, if you notice, all these cushions and the, uh, the soft fabrics are beautifully merged into the hull, making the whole thing look as a one piece. It doesn't intrude to the view or obstruct the nice sleek lines of the Frausche 1212 Ghost. And as we keep going forward, you also have two cup holders, one on either side, so you can keep all your drinks cool and in position while you're on the go. Before we move forward, what's also unique is underneath here, you have a little cubby where you can store your, you know, if you want to put your snorkeling, maybe your snorkel mask, anything small over here, you can do that. And you also have a handheld shower. So when you come back from the water, you can easily and quickly rinse yourself off, ready to get into the boat. Now, of course, you also have a uh, shore power. You have 50 amp shore power on your starboard side, which is great. And of course, also, these retractable cleats, which disappear when you push them down. Very nice. Now, obviously the same storage goes to your port side, so you can keep additional sea bobs, additional items stored away over here as well. And what, what's cool is it opens nice 90 degrees, so it's not like you have to climb underneath anything. You have plenty of space to take things out and put things back in. And as we walk, now we get to this social area on the boat, and what's neat is you have tables on both sides. These tables go all the way down so you can make it look like a coffee table if you want. And also what's neat is on underneath all these cushions, you have storage. So you can store all the nitty gritty away and just at arm's reach. And as I'm talking about arm's reach over here, you also have neat speakers all over the boat, making sure that it sounds like nothing else on the water once you've dropped your anchor. We said that you can put the table nicely down and keep it as a coffee table on your port side. Now, let's say you want to keep that as a coffee table. On your starboard side, what you can do is put this table all the way down and put a cushion on top. So now it becomes a big sunbed, which you can also use on your starboard side and enjoy the vast open views all around you. Absolutely incredible. This boat is all about comfort. And may I say also about laziness. So once you're done with the drink and you don't want to stand up to throw it away, well, I'm glad you have that problem because you also have a nice trash cubby right underneath the step. So you can throw your little trash, little cups away and they won't fly into the ocean. Don't throw 
the trash into the ocean. There's something that a lot of manufacturers forget, and it's storage. On a boat, especially on the smaller boats, you do need a ton of place, even the smallest spaces are possible, where you can keep your things hidden away. Now, over here, you have a nice storage with, uh, that fits a proper size fender. So we put it here, you can see I'm, I'm like, you know, it's my half my body is a fender. Great place to keep your nitty gritty, also has a place to keep all your uh, covers if you need. And now we get to the, to the place that probably interests a lot of people who are interested in sports cars and performance. These seats rotate, which is great. So you can either face back or face forward. And when you're ready to take off, and I really mean it because this boat goes 50 knots. I mean, 50 knots on a 40 foot boat, that's pretty incredible. Your cruising speed around 35 knots and it gives you 10 hours of cruising, which means uh, converts over 350 nautical miles. And just to give you an idea of how much that is, Bimini is less than 50 miles from Miami, which means you can go back and forth to Bimini three times and you still have plenty of fuel left. So this is how economical this boat is. Also, what's the first thing that this boat really reminds you is a classic Porsche or a classic sports car. Nice styles with nice chromes around. And I, I like that they're not digital, they're homage to the uh, heritage of the brand and they have all analog gauges, which, I mean, it just adds to the whole look and vibe of the boat. Now, of course, it's a modern era, so we do need a modern user interface, especially uh, for your engines. So you have your Simrad control, at least you can change this however way you like. If you want, you can change and see your chart view. You also have your chain counter or your cockpit lights, underwater lights. Everything is controlled from here. And of course, your mooring winches, your anchors, everything is at your fingertips. Not to mention a joystick, which makes the whole boating with this boat so much easier. What's also neat is when you don't want to sit down and you may want to just lean over here, the floor is, I want to say about 10 degree angle. So it's nicely supports your feet and you can lean against the, uh, the seat behind you and you get a great view as you're cruising or going at top speeds over here. It, it, it feels great. I mean, it's, it's a really cool uh, vibe to this whole thing. And why I do think it's, it's a great boat for Miami or South Florida is we have a lot of places with low bridges where you can't really get in if you have, you know, if your top is over seven, eight feet, you can't get there. So even if you have a waterfront house, you're limited because of the fixed bridges around you. So this boat eliminates a lot of those issues. They are not maybe as popular in US as they are in Europe and specifically in Europe because a lot of super yachts like boats like this as their chase boats. Because again, there's no roof that obstructs uh, st from storing the boat. It's a very, very low height of the vessel, making sure that it's easy to fit in the super yacht tender garage. Obviously, as you go high speeds, you need a storage to keep all your small things, maybe your phone, your wallet, you can store those nicely away. Audio control and a nice handle for your guest who's sitting maybe not right next to you. Now, as we keep walking, on your port side, you have, well, first of all, you have a nice sink. So if you do need to rinse, rinse your hands, you can also do that here. And you also have a fridge, a proper fridge that you can obviously adjust your temperature and keep all your drinks cold and easily at reach. There's also one downstairs, which we'll come back to, but a great place nevertheless. Also, an additional trash storage right underneath and some more control units. And of course, your Fisher Panda uh, diesel generator as well. These seats obviously can swivel. And one of the reasons why they can swivel is the function, function form of, you know, facing aft. But what it also does is you can swivel those chairs just to see this beautiful diamond stitching because I finishes on this boat are something that you don't see every day. It's really, really nicely done. Details on this boat are not just limited to your seating. It's also carried across the board with everything you touch or you, everything you see on the boat. Uh, talking about the flooring, for example, the teak is done in-house. It's really beautifully finished everything. And even the step downstairs, it's nicely slatted. They wanted to do a slightly different design to give more texture for the boat. And it, it, it really, really feels incredible. And also what you don't notice is 
and you're going to say, hey, go, listen, this, this is great, but I need some shade from the sun. Now, there are, there's an integrated Bimini behind these cushions, so you can just lift this whole thing up. We'll show you over here how it looks like, and it gives you plenty of shade for you to sit with you and your family. I said from the beginning, why James Bond and why did I dress like this? Well, for that very reason. Uh, Frau Schiboltz have been in a lot of movies like Spider-Man and James Bond itself. So that's why I wanted to make sure I dress accordingly and I color code myself to the boat's theme itself. And I mean, what a day it is to enjoy this boat on the water. Now, also something you should know, this very boat is listed for sale on Yachtway.com. And if you are looking for your perfect boat, then visit Yachtway. It is the best place to find your perfect yacht anywhere in the world. You know what's great is we're not screaming or anything, but as you're cruising along, you can hear that V8 rumble in the back, that low bass level sound. It's just incredible for you to, I don't even want to turn the, this music on because this sounds absolutely incredible. That itself is a symphony as you're cruising alongside the skyline here in Miami. A shame, think something new under the sun. Mm. Let me take you on a ride now. Follow along. Okay, we did a first uh, first run over here now, and within seconds, this thing was up to speed, and we were doing 40, 40 miles an hour, and it did not even feel like going that fast. Now, what's cool is the center of gravity of this boat is so low, it makes it drive like nothing I've ever driven before. It's truly like a supercar. Uh, rather than being up or higher, you're so close to the water and it feels so solid on the water. And I want to make some sharp turns over here to show you how nicely it cuts through the water. It's so precise, wherever you, uh, you turn your wheel at, the boat is just going to go there. It's unbelievable how well it tracks. Uh, we'll get up to speed over here in a second where, uh, where, there's, no, where there's a wake zone because, I mean, this thing is just, it's so exhilarating that I just want to get out in the open ocean and run it all over the place. We are finally in a place where we can actually put this boat through its paces and hammer down and see how fast we can go and how she performs. Let's go. I mean, immediately it picks up. It's just unbelievable. We're already doing 17, 18, 19, 20 miles an hour. And we haven't even pushed down the throttle. 33. 40 miles an hour. And what's incredible is that our fuel consumption right now is two gallons per mile, which is quite remarkable. And we're doing well north of 40 miles an hour. I mean, the handling is unbelievable. I'm, I'm full throttle right now and full lock. I mean, unbelievable. Look at this, look at the turning radius. We're suddenly doing 20 miles an hour. It feels like we're standing still. I mean, this, this is cool. No wonder that this boat is in James Bond movies, because this is like a, like a true supervillain boat, you know? I mean, so classy, such a European vibe, and at the same time of a performance of a hypercar. I mean, the way it goes through the waves and the way it tracks is, I mean, full lock throttle, 45 miles an hour, and then full lock to the starboard or port side, and it goes, I mean, this is not, it's not like it's glass outside, it's, there's some chop over here, but you never feel that. It's just, and the pickup is, is incredible. 
and you're doing two gallons per mile, which is not bad at all. I mean, for, for performance mode like this, I mean, you tell me down in the comment section, uh, can you consider this boat as a performance boat? Let's try that one more time. Now, I did not expect it to ride the way it does. And uh, I mean, first of all, it, it looks a cool boat. Oftentimes, cool looking boats don't ride that well, but this exceeded my expectation, beyond exp exceeded my expectations. They don't just follow the design philosophy of Porsche, they actually follow the performance of a Porsche also. This rides like a Turbo S, for example. It's unreal. And the thing is that in terms of comparing this boat uh, to other boats on the market in a similar price range, uh, I mean, this boat starts at $700,000. By the way, it's listed on Yachtway, link down below. Uh, it, it's, it's a great value because you have so many lounge areas, you have the performance of a sports car, and to top it all off, it looks like it's a James Bond boat from James Bond movie. So this is the cherry on the cake, so unbelievable. Super cool. So this is how you get downstairs on the uh, Frauscher 1212 Ghost. Now, what's unique is it hides all the way into the floor, giving you easy access into the boat. And once we do access, so the first thing you see is you have a fridge all the way on your uh, port side. So you can fit plenty of drinks over here. You can also adjust the temperature. You may even want to make it as a freezer for your ice cream. You have a storage, so you can keep all your cups over here, nitty gritty. And what, what's also nice is you have this beautiful lighting, LED lighting that goes all the way across. And the fabric that it's uh, on your bulk, on your bulkheads, the bulkheads all the way on the side of the boat, uh, is like a suede finish. Feels super premium. Uh, and the flooring is nice teak. And now once you're all the way at the bow over here downstairs, you have a great seating area. So. So if this you have one person, two people, three people, so you can easily have three people on either side, maybe even a, a seventh person all the way at the end of the table. I mean, it's, it feels comfortable over here. It's nice and bright, feels great. And what's neat is this whole table goes all the way down and you can put cushions on top and this becomes your nice sleeping area. So we'll show you how that is being done in a second. Now, all the way at the top, you also have skylights, which you can use uh, you know, to let fresh air in, or you can also obviously get it out from here if there's an emergency. On your starboard side, you also have uh, a nice storage bin, and underneath, over here, is where you have access. So, oh, fantastic. Yeah. Now, I'm 6'1", I cannot stand up over here, but I don't know why would you want to stand up while you, while you sit down. What you can do is you can use this as your loo or a restroom. So we go in here. You know what's great? I can rem remove part of the roof. How does it, how is it being done? It's like, just like this. So now I can actually, you see, I can remove this whole thing. I can open up the window. I can easily stand up. You see, I made myself a new ceiling height. You do have a full standing shower, so you can rinse yourself down. This is obviously this wand, you can remove it. So if you want to do some special rinsing, you can do that. Um, it is a wet head, so you have your uh, toilet, you have a sink. Really an oversized mirror, gives a lot of brightness and makes this room feel very spacious. Nice cabinet underneath with a holder for your toilet paper. I like that because it's it's hidden, you kind of don't want to see it at all times. Locks in. And if you want, you can even use this as, as a great private room for your private thoughts. Now, talking about thoughts, you can keep some of your thoughts inside a storage over here. There's a big storage bin, so plenty of place to keep your nitty gritty needed for your shower time. So right underneath the table on both sides, uh, starboard port side, you have speakers, so you can listen to your favorite music 
even while you're down here, which is great. Now, to put the table down, what you do is, on your starboard side, you have a closet where you can keep your things stored at. You see this, uh, some items over here, gives you an idea. Some magazines, some shirts, and also some glassware, which is not a real glass, but you can put uh, this right now, 10 uh, wine glasses, so you can keep those there. And what you also have is a control unit for your table, which you push a button and it goes all the way down. So once you have the table all the way down, what you do is you take these cushions and voila, this whole thing became a bed. Look at this. I'm 6'1". I'm in plenty of space. You can put two me's right next to me so it's it sleeps three people which means this is uh, something in between king and a queen size bed i mean it's great what else do you need you can easily go to bahamas sleep here for overnight come back fast and enjoy yourself now these being fully custom boats you can really configure them whichever way you like so let's say you want to have uh, you know, a cooktop over here. Maybe you want to have a microwave or maybe you want to have an ice maker. Whatever you like, you can do that. So you just show up at Frauscher and uh, they will help you configure your dream Frauscher. This was a full thorough walkthrough of the Frauscher 1212 Ghost. Now, if you're looking to buy this boat or many others, visit Yachtway.com. We have over 300 yachts from around the world listed for sale. And also, if you're looking to maybe explore this uh, boat in 3D or virtually, then visit Yachtway because Yachtway is the only listing site in the entire world that allows you to browse select boats in virtual reality. And as always, if you like the video, hit the like button down below. If you want to see more, then hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.